Thus far, I've been able to make ends meet, keep my home, um, and through some extra employment that I've been able to pick up uh, through um, substitute teaching positions, um, caregiving positions, I've been able to save a little, but I mean, I live under a great deal of stress all the time. My name is Marie Elaine Spaulding. I'm 62 years old, and um, for 27 years, I was a school counselor uh, in a public school system. I had uh, a serious illness. My mother was extremely ill and needed help. So I decided to take early retirement from my position. And um, she has since passed away. I've been trying for approximately three years to get back, or very actively, the last three years to get back into some sort of employment that would have been gainful for me. I found it difficult because I feel like, um, I feel a bit of age, possibly discrimination, uh, because of the economy. It seems that there have been very few positions for which I am qualified for. Um, and many applicants, many applicants, you go to job fairs and there are hundreds of people there. Many times, even if you are fortunate enough to get a, an interview, um, you just do not get any follow-up, not even, thank you, we've hired someone else. You have to follow up. Uh, check with the employer to even determine many times if the position has been filled. I haven't given up on job seeking. I do a lot of volunteer work to keep me active, to keep my mind, you know, active, um, to be able to use the skills that I have. There's always the thought, maybe down the road, Someone will notice, and there may be a position open, even if it's part-time. At this point, I'd be happy to get regular part-time employment. I am not eligible for Social Security because um, I'm a state employee, and that is a different retirement fund. Our retirement being a state retirement um, is subject to legislative review. So uh, currently there is a lot of discussion in the uh, political world about um, taking that benefit away or reducing it significantly. So I do have that concern. Fortunately, I've practically paid for my home. And I do not have children or a spouse to worry about leaving someone to. So, you know, I, I, that is a comfort to me that at this time I don't have, you know, responsibilities like that. I just have my personal well-being and being able to live comfortably. Physically, I feel fine. I mean, I, I try to, that's very important, I'm finding, to take care of myself. Basically, I was brought up to survive, to um, rise up, not to give up, and my faith. If I didn't have my faith and my church friends and job seeker groups such as this, I, I don't know where I'd be because they keep me going. I think about it all the time.